everybody. My name is John Sinopoli. I'm the executive chef and co-owner of the Ascari Hospitality Group. We are here at Ascari on King Street and we are excited to walk you through the reheat of your dinner that accompanies the amazing two wines that you have in your, you've been delivered to your home this evening. Uh, normally we'd be welcoming you into our beautiful dining room here on King Street at Ascari. Unfortunately, this year, you're welcoming us into your home and we're excited to be part of that as well. So uh, we're gonna walk over to the box, we're gonna open it up, show you what you got, and we're gonna walk you through the easy step-by-step, -step, one, two, three, of getting the meal onto your plate. We're super excited to have you taste these two wines tonight, the Oublier Cab Franc and the Black Ball Riesling, the famous Black Ball Riesling. We can't wait, let's get started, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna open up our box of food and I'm gonna explain to you where everything is and what it's for. So the first thing for our first course that we have here is the gnocchi. And then of course you have your braised cabbage with chestnuts. You're gonna have, this is the sauce for the first course that we call it fondue. It's a butter fondue or a burr fondue. And then of course you're gonna have your chopped sage and your caviar. That's Acadian sturgeon caviar. If you've chosen the vegetarian box, you will have fresh black truffle instead. Um, that's for course number one. Okay, so we'll put this to the side. For course number two, okay, we have our lentils. We have our duck terrine in this box here. We have our celery ac. We have our duck skin and Jerusalem artichoke skin in there as well. Here's the duck jus, that's the sauce. Then we have hazelnuts or parsley. If you've chosen the vegetarian option, you're also going to have, or you will have instead of the duck terrine, you'll have a cauliflower steak there, okay? And then for dessert, you'll have two portions of milfoy. That's ready to go. When you're ready to eat dessert, you open it up and you dig in. Hopefully you can wait till the end of the meal for that, all right? So now that we've gotten all the ingredients of the box sorted, we're gonna move over here. Okay, so now we're just gonna explain the few simple tools you'll need for the meal. We have a tray here, uh, just to put your duck terrine on, put it in the oven, could be bigger, could be smaller, doesn't really matter. You need a lifter or a spatula. This spatula can be anything like this, a fish spatula, could be a cake lifter, could be something smaller, anything really to do the job to lift the duck terrine off, off the tray and onto the plate. You need a pair of scissors to cut your bags open, and you'll need just a few small spoons for removing food around. And then a couple bowls, uh, if you have stainless steel bowls, could be a plastic bowl, ceramic bowl, doesn't really matter. All right, now that we've seen everything in the box, we're ready to bring everything to the stove and start cooking. Make sure your oven's at 350 degrees. We're gonna show you how to put a restaurant quality meal on the plate in about five minutes. Here we go. On the stove here, you can see we've got a medium pot of water. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit to bring it to a gentle simmer. And it's really simple for the first course. We're going to heat up our gnocchetti, and our cabbage with chestnuts. We're just gonna drop it into the boiling water. Those are gonna gently warm in that water just like that. And then we're gonna take our butter sauce, which is our beurre fondue, and I'm gonna take a pair of scissors. I'm gonna open it up and empty it into a medium saucepan. Oops. So you can see it's pretty thick. As it warms, it will thin out a little bit. Okay, we've basically made a, a beurre blanc. If it's cold, it'll be thick like this, all right? Okay, and we're gonna turn the heat on here to a very low to medium. You do not want to blast this, okay? See right away, as soon as I apply some heat, it's starting to, it's starting to soften up, okay? So just a reminder that uh, you don't want this water rumbling, boiling. You're just gonna heat your your food through in the bag gently for three to four minutes while the butter sauce melts. Okay, and just keep stirring this. You can grab a spoon, stir with a spoon. And once this butter's warm, we're gonna toss the gnocchi into the butter and then we're gonna plate right from here. So we're, we're almost actually ready to plate already. That's how quick it is. We've basically done all the work, all the details, all the finer points and we've brought it to about 90 percent for everybody at home to finish on the plate so as you can see now you've got a nice 
loose, beautiful liquid. You want to keep stirring so it doesn't split. If you have the heat too high, it will split and ruin your sauce. So please don't turn your heat high. You can see the burner's really low. I'm just really gently warming it through to get some heat into it. And you don't need to worry about heating the gnocchi in this sauce because it'll already be hot by being in the water for three or four minutes. Okay, so we're gonna leave this here. Put my spoon to the side while that warms through. And now I'm gonna take my bag out of here. It's been, it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna take my bag out of the water very gently. If you need a pair of tongs to grab out of the water if your hands aren't as uh, sturdy as mine. Okay, and we're gonna open the gnocchi up right into the butter sauce and finish its heating in the butter sauce while the cabbage continues to warm to warm through. Okay, here we go. When the gnocchi's not that hot, it will it will be pretty sturdy. So you don't have to worry about being too delicate, but when we are plating, you're going to want to use only a spoon so that you don't bust up the gnocchi very much because they are not uh, once they're warm, they get more delicate. Okay, now you can see we got lots of beautiful butter sauce. Our gnocchi is nicely bathed and coated. Okay, I'm gonna turn this water off. I don't need it to be boiling anymore. And we're actually gonna go to the plate now with the gnocchi, okay? So we're gonna walk across here. Okay, so we're plating our gnocchi, leaving a lot enough space for the cabbage, and evenly dis distribute it amongst the two plates. Space it out a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna grab our cabbage out of the pot. and I'm gonna cut it open and empty it into just a medium-sized bowl like this. Might be a little bit hot, but should be all right. Oof, it's, uh, yeah, you might wanna use a towel to squeeze it out as the vac pack maybe doesn't release. There we go, there we go. Should, once you release the vacuum pack, it should all just come out, okay? Oh, you can smell that. It's really beautiful. Okay. And we're just going to spread some of this cabbage all around nice and gently, making sure to spread the pieces of chestnuts between the two plates as well. Okay. Make sure I get some beautiful chestnuts in there. Okay. And we're gonna plate here one vegetarian and one non-vegetarian. So we'll start with the, the caviar, which most of you will have. I have a little demi-tasse spoon here. I usually use two spoons to spoon caviar out onto a plate, one to remove and one to spread. So I'm just gonna evenly spread. This is enough for two in this container, of course, but, but um, I'm just gonna spread it around really beautiful. And of course, you know, this is a play, this dish is a play on, you know, potatoes and caviar, but in Italian style. So of course we have our potato gnocchi with caviar and we have our winter cabbage and gorgeous earthy chestnuts. And I'll tell you that, you know, once you see the chat with Svetlana and I, you'll see that the, uh, the richness of this wine, of this black ball Riesling is gonna be cut sharply by all of that beautiful brininess of the caviar. Um, it's going to be really special. I'm really excited to have everyone taste it. Then our second dish here, I'll plate so you can see we have the shaved black truffle you'll be receiving. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to take one spoon to scoop it out. Uh, we'll have a, we put a touch of olive oil in there just to so it doesn't stick together. And you can use your fingers if you want, uh, or you can use the two spoons. And you're just going to spread the shaved truffle out evenly. Uh, we've been pretty generous, so don't be shy. Uh, this is not a night to skimp on luxury or flavor. We are gone all out to make sure that everyone's getting the best of the best and the most of it on your plate. So there you have it. You have here your gnocchi with braised cabbage and chestnuts and butter sauce and Acadian sturgeon caviar. And here you have your gnocchetti in butter sauce with braised cabbage and chestnuts and fresh black truffles, a little bit of chiffonade sage on top for garnish. And that's how you get two restaurant quality plates in less than five minutes in your own home. Enjoy. All right, so here we are getting our second course prepared. We have our duck terrine and our cauliflower steak. So if you've gotten your uh, meat option, you'll have two 
portions of duck terrine if you got the vegetarian. You'll have two portions of the cauliflower steak. I've also put the celery root on the same tray and we're gonna pop that in our 350 degree oven right now. It's gonna take about 10 to 12 minutes to reheat. Okay, so while that's happening, we're gonna go back to our simmering pot of boiling water, the chopoli you have left on the stove from the first course, and we're gonna take both our lentils and our jus, and we're just gonna drop those in that simmering water to get hot as well. All right, now that our terrine or cauliflower has been in the oven for eight to 10 minutes, and our lentils and the jus have been warming in our simmering water, time to pull them out and put them on the plate. So I'm gonna take this bag out here. Just be careful you don't drip any really hot boiling water on yourself. Okay, and we're gonna just snip these lentils into a medium sized bowl so that we can easily spoon them onto the plate. You may need to open the bag up a little bit, there you go, to, to unseal the back. Okay, and the first thing that's gonna go in the middle of the plate is our lentils with our roasted chopped salsa feed. Okay, so for me this is the beautiful Umbrian lentils that we've simmered really, really gently. So the lentils from Umbria are basically the lentil Dupuis of Italy. Very, very expensive, but very beautiful textured lentils. Okay, so both plates have enough lentils now. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go into the oven and grab our main course. So I would drop this down on top of a towel so you don't burn your countertop. It's gonna be very hot. Okay, and we're gonna use our spatula and we're gonna put, first we'll put the cauliflower on top of one and we'll put our duck terrine on top of the other. Okay, and we'll use the same spatula to put a few discs of our roasted celery root around the plate. Okay, and then we have a lot of garnish here. It's not that, it's not that difficult, but we have crispy duck skin for our duck dish to go on top. And we have crispy Jerusalem artichoke skins to go on top uh, of our vegetarian course. Okay, and then the sauce for the meat course is a duck jus, which you could pour right out of the bag. I'm just gonna take a spoon like this and hold it. And I'm gonna sauce my plate. For the vegetarian dish, you are going to garnish that with a little bit of olive oil and you can pour it right out of the container we provided it or you can put a little spoon in there if you want and drizzle some fresh olive oil. The last thing is some candied hazelnuts. Both dishes will get candied hazelnuts. And both dishes will get some chopped parsley. And then finally, if you like, a little extra fleur de sel for a little extra seasoning on top of both. And you are off to the races. This is going to be enjoyed with the 2015 Oublier. Enjoy, guys. And for dessert, we have our milfoy with orange marmalade, Italian meringue, and candied orange. All you have to do is move it from the box onto your plate. If you were judicious, you may have left yourself enough black ball Riesling to go with this dish. I hope you did, because I think the pairing is gonna be stellar. Here we go, it's really beautiful. Just with a lifter, be gentle. It should hold together really well. Onto your plate, you're gonna take your fork and dig right into that. Okay, everyone, so that's how you put together the final pieces of your restaurant quality dinner to pair with your Pearl Morissette Vintage Release Wines, 2015 Oublier, 2015 Black Ball Riesling. What an experience. We're very grateful to be part of this with Pearl Morissette Winery, our old friends. And I'm really excited to be with you guys again Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. with Svetlana from Pearl Morissette. We're gonna be talking about the wines, talking about old stories, talking about the food that you're gonna have in front of you. We'll see you then.